Now we are in terrace and just we going to fix the water sparks digital liquid flow meter. These are the items which you require to fix the water sparks digital liquid flow meter on the pipeline because the pipeline is a CPVC pipeline. We have bought the CPVC fittings from a nearby store and just see this FTA has got an o-ring inside so you don't require to add Teflon tape inside this. In case you are not able to find the o-ring inside or you are not able to get this type of FTA, you can add Teflon tape here and then you can tighten it. So, we can just put this and may do a hand tight as enough. And in case you are not able to do it, you can use a pipe wrench also to tighten it. And ensure that when you it goes till the end. Now you need to fix this here. And also fix this here. And you fix a union so that you are going to remove it easily. So I am just going to fix this. Whatever I have fixed in this setup, I am just going to apply the paste and make it a full setup. We made this setup already. We are just going to cut here and fix this here. Make sure that this arrow mark should be down because the water is flowing downwards to the home. In case you are going to fix it on the motor, it should be up because this is flowing down. Okay, now let's fix this. Ensure when you're going to cut before closing the valve so that there is no leakage. Now we have fixed the unit and the water comes from the overhead tank passing through this flow meter. But as you see the orientation is tilted towards this side. Let's see how we going to change the orientation. First, we need to remove these four screws. Now these screws have been removed now. And remove this whole cup and just turn this side. Put it in your required direction. Fix it and put it back into the screws. Now it's ready to use. We have another phone to shoot the bathroom inside. So both videos simultaneously we can play back and see. Now you can see there is a gap in the can which will approximately fill about 40 milliliters of water and that is the reason because the meter has got stopped at 4 liters and 960 milliliters which is approximately exactly the same amount. So, you can just see what is the accuracy of this meter. It's so amazing, right? Now we are going to measure the water sparks digital liquid flow meter. So we have made a small setup to fill up this 20 liter jar can and we are just going to use gravity. Considering this as your overhead tank or your main tank from here the pipeline is done and the water comes through this pipeline and fills the jar. This is our digital liquid flow meter and how it measures the water flow to fill up this jar can. And I am just going to reset the flow meter now. And this already we have filled one jar. So it's showing us 19, 9 milliliters. So just long press the reset button. Now it's reset. This is 20 liters jar and let's measure the jar. I'm just going to open this wall. Now just see how the measurement is going on. We have passed almost 18 liters. So, just 2 liters to be left. Now I stop the water sparks digital flow meter. And now finally the 20 liters filled in the jar. Now let's check the jar. See, some amount of empty space found in this 20 liters jar. It means it can fill another 60 milliliters of water in it. So the flow meter is showing the readings very accurately. Now, this time, we are going to fill a 20 liter jar using this motor pump. Now I switch on the motor and open the valve. Now the water is filling very faster, with help of a motor pump. Now just see how the measurement is going on. Just now see the flow meter speed. Now I'm going to switch off the motor now. And just it's in gravity, and now just you can see the speed of the flow meter now because it's just in gravity the speed is low. Finally, the 20 liters of water passed this flow meter and filled the jar. Just you see there, some water spilled out on the floor. Because an extra 233 milliliters of water crossed this flow meter and overflowed this jar. Thanks for watching the video.